my channel, and finally we have the last Stunticon, which is Dead End, or at least the last one until, um, freaking what's gonna call it comes out. It's not really called, a uh, crap, I can't remember what it's called, but, basically this is the new Wave 2 box art, or packaging. The uh, deluxes no longer come with a uh, trading card. They come with a comic now. But same like package styling. Just there's a comic in the back. But here is Dead End in the package. It says Dead End. On the side here it says he is 2 out of 5 for Minasaur. Awesome Minasaur art right there. Says Combiner Wars. And then here are his buddies. It's a combined Minasaur. <coughs> Motor Master and then Breakdown and Off Road. He is an arm, but he can be any since it's Scramble City. Here's his bio. And, and that's another thing that they changed from uh, Wave 1 is longer bios here is dead in his robot mode then here he is in his car mode cannot to wait to get this guy out of the package let's do it so here we have a dead end out of his package and as you can see he is a red sports car he looks similar to a I would say probably a Ferrari, but I could be wrong, or maybe a McLaren P1, but very, very cool. Now he does come with this little weapon here, which is an exhaust pipe. You can store it on the side here, like that. Same thing on the other side. And then you can also store it on top. Like that. Just kind of stupid. It's either no weapon on the top, or the side only, or no weapon at all. And he also comes with a little foot or hand, basically. That's for the foot, and you just stick the figure on top. Or if you want to make it a hand, basically, you open this up. Uh, fingernails for this. There we go. Hold this in and then fold the thumb. Then you have a right hand. If you want a left hand, spin it around and do that. And he can hold his weapon like that. Because he has a little 5mm little port thing, which is pretty cool. Do that in foot mode. Get off this side. Here's a quick size comparison. Here he is with, um, crap, I can't remember his name, but there's that guy. He is Combiner Wars. And then here we have Trax. Trax is bigger. But not too bad. Put this off the side real quick. Here he does come with this comic. Which has a extended bio. Which you guys can pause and read. There you go. There's his uh, robot mode and his car mode. And there's little stats here, which is pretty cool, but all the new <coughs> Combiner War figures come with a uh, comic, not a trading card anymore, which is kind of disappointing. And then he has his little instructions, which are, I guess, pretty cool. Preferred if they were 
like the original instructions that came with uh, other figures because I display them in a binder but oh well win some you lose some but anyways on to the figure he's a little sports car he rolls nice not much robot kibble underneath but all in all pretty nice figure but to transform him first thing we're going to do is show off the limb mode so basically come here lift up the front windshield well first you have to come in here and we'll lift this up so you can get this little combiner thing out there we go then you can come here because this goes in there come on there we go Fold this down. Make sure you hide the head like that. I think you can even make it up a little bit higher like that. Yeah, let's do it like that. And then take the foot. And there's a little hole. Plug it on like that. And then you flip up the combiner pack here. There we have a foot. <coughs> Anyways, to uh, transform him, come down here, open these up, and flip down the legs here, like so, spread these apart, get this out of the way here, and then peg this together. Spin this around. Come down here to the shoulders here. Spin this like that. Flip out the hand. Kind of a little ratchet joints. Same thing on our side. Don't have freaking fingernails, so it's kind of hard to do this. Spin his waist around like so. Spin his legs around. I think I had it right the first time that. Push this little combiner peg in if you had it out. You come here, bring this whole chest piece down, and there's two little pegs here. Two little holes. Just fold that in. And peg it together. And put that on the back like that. And here we have dead end in his robot mode which is pretty freaking cool I really enjoy the stomach cons I just wish I could have gotten like the G1 set it's really expensive now but that's another video even though these are simplified transformers I still find them to be pretty uniquely engineered, especially them being a lib mode for foot and arm and a robot and car mode, so that's technically four modes. And a not half bad robot figure. There is his head sculpt, which is pretty nice. There's his chest with the Decepticon logo. There's a little combiner uh, limb connector. Can't really tell because it blends in to the robot mode. He has a really small backpack, which is nice. He's not really that top heavy. 
and get some really nice poses out of him, which I'll show you. And you can take his weapon, put it in like that, which is pretty cool. He has about the same articulation of uh, all the combiners, basically. Goes back like that, bends at the knee like that, that swivels at the hip, like that, same thing on the other side, up here at the shoulder, ball joint, like that, 360 degrees, and here at the shoulder, like that, no hand articulation, same thing on the other side for articulation. Then the head here. You can only move back and forth that far because it hits the little piece on the back of his head, which is a shame. But can't win them all. But he can go into limb mode. So basically, you want to come up here, lift this little chest piece thing here up like this, fold it up. Like that. Get this hood out of the way. Like that. Hold this little arm up, like so. Oh, come on. Spin this up and around. I should just put him down like that. Pull these in, like so. <clears throat> then come down here, flip this little thing out here, like so. Make sure this is nice and connected, like so. Then you connect these together. That. Oh yeah, you gotta flip out the combiner thing here. Come on. Like that. That does not want to stay together for some reason. There we go. Then you can take his hand here. We're going to make him into the left hand. Plug this in here at the bottom here. Spin this hand around like that. And there we have a arm mode. I like to leave them like that. Give them a little bit more bulk. But there is his arm mode for Menasaur. He can hold the weapon. Anything with a 5mm peg, he will hold. But to see what that looks like, you'll have to check out the Menasaur video. But I'm really digging these freaking Combined War figures. They're freaking amazing. They're sticking to the G1 characters almost, except for um, whatchamacallit, off-road. He's uh, not uh, the stunt con that was in the G1 um, line, so but we're, we're going to be getting that, not in his colors, but I'm sure somewhere down the road we will, but all in all, this is a very nice figure. I do enjoy it. I probably could have transformed this guy a little bit better. I'm not sure why this is not sticking. Because I got it lined up. But all in all, awesome figure. Highly recommend picking this up. You get all this and a limb for Menasaur. Come on, guys. It's a freaking steal. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos.